I heard about the Academy from my history teacher, my seventh grade history teacher. And I was at my little brother's parent teacher conference and he was there, I ran into him and he was talking about what I could do when I entered high school. It's a middle college, so I do high school and college together. Um, I get college experiences and high school experiences at the same time. For me, it was, it was a little different than all the other students because I was the first year they had COVID, so it was a whole new, whole new experience trying to get going. It was really nice being able to deal with a more professional view of how to collect data, how to present the data, rather than just turning in a lab assignment. I had to write the essay on my own, collect the data on my own, and then compile the data with my teammates. I met with students from all around the country online because it was during COVID year, so no one, was, no one was meeting physically. But we met online, we wrote a paper, we got data from telescopes down in Chile, and then we compiled the data and were able to publish a paper in the Journal of Double Star Observations. So this year, we had three robotics competitions. Right now, we were waiting to hear if we were going to qualify for states. We built a good bot this year. We had a lot of dedicated people, and we had a good run. After graduation, I plan to attend U of M in Arbor, where I'll be studying computer science or robotics. I have taken part in two reverse job fairs at the Tech Center, both of which have been able to land me a job. My first one was two years ago, and I got a job as an electrical technician in an Adrian at Scientemp just down the road, just down 52. Uh, the second one was last year and I got a job at Ann Arbor as an electrical technician where I am working now. So to prepare for the job fair, I made a slideshow that I would play continuously while I was out there. Uh, all documents I could provide, I had laid out. So code I've written before, different projects, photos of things I've done, certificates, I, I all had out there. That way I could present this to people who would come around and show that I'm not just telling you something, I've got these documents here, prove it. After I talked to them, that following week I met people in the office and they had been contacted from some of the people that were there looking for new employees. They helped me set up interviews and find my best fit. So yes, yeah, so I've been at the Academy for five years now. Um, it changes a lot as you go through it. In the beginning, you're really more of a high school student and at the end, you don't spend much time around and you're mainly in all your college courses. Uh, I've been able to really take advantage of the program and get, you know, I'll be graduating with about 100 college credits, which is a lot for the academy. So that has been really helpful. I've been able to work with other college students, not just high school students like you normally would. So the experiences I've gained are going to be invaluable in the future. Um, over the years at the academy, I think the proudest thing, the thing I'm proudest of would be either the amount of college credits I will have, which is just insane. That's a lot for the academy and also the time I've spent in the robotics team at the Tech Center.